Good morning. I'm John Rickey. I'd like to bring the personnel committee to order. I'm the chairman, and let's start off with a pledge, if you'll please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> And could we start with the roll call, please? Mr. Rickey? Here. Mrs. Hanchett? Here. Mrs. Burdick? Mr. Havey? Here. Mrs. Ricketts Wales? Here. Mrs. Root? Mr. Rumfelt? Here. And Mr. Stocken? Here. Five present, two absent. Thank you. And we need uh, to approve the minutes of June 1st, 2022. So Thank moved, Hanchett? Second, Rumfelt. Any uh, additions or corrections, deletions, questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That is passed. Okay, we have personnel officer Kim Francisco here. Hi, Kim. <laughs> I was trying to promote you. We're Not personnel it. officer. <laughs> um, the reason I'm here this morning is we have a few departments that have hired um, relatives as far as our nepotism policy goes. The first department is um, planning and they have a couple of office aides that they have hired for the summer temporary type of position and they will be possibly supervised by a staff member that is their mother that works there. These, it's She's not going to be the only supervisor um, Kier and Michelle and the others will probably do most of that, but just so you're aware that that has happened in planning. The other one, um, Tom Windis, his son has been hired for one of the summer youth um, employees. And then the last one is Dan Moyer, who is looking to move to the um, maintenance supervisor. Um, his son and his significant other currently work for the county. And this is something that happened prior to Dan taking the position that he would be going into. And Dean has said that there are um, policies and things in place that Dan is not supervising per se, or their time and that sort of thing. It goes to a higher level such as Dean or Tom. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure we have some questions here. Yes. I have a question. Um, what is our policy for temporary and somebody reporting to a parent or something for, I mean, is it, I haven't read it. Um, or I don't know it. Maybe Carissa or Allison can help say. us out. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't believe we have exceptions for summer help or temporary. Um, it's you can't hire someone that's your relative. You can't supervise someone that's your relative unless there's an exception to the policy. And it's the personnel director's job to come forward with recommendations for exceptions. They come before the personnel committee and the personnel committee would have to approve each of those exceptions. And it, it happens on a fairly routine basis, especially with the summer help. Um, we come pretty much every year for certain ones. Um, like our lifeguards. We have lifeguards that are related to each other. We have a hard time finding lifeguards. It gets routinely um, approved. There's been other situations in departments, um, and usually the personnel director will come, whether it's a temporary help or a full-time, and make some arguments that, like Kim just did, that you know we've, we've taken this into consideration. These people um, will have internal controls to make sure that there's somebody else that will be making those decisions when it comes um, to the relative in question. So. Um, but the ultimate say of whether we'll grant an exception comes to this committee. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Well, we need to vote, so do we have a motion? Round will move. Second, Beckett Swales. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That passed. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, clerk of the board, Brenda Rigby Reilly. Um, yes, this request is to report the um, 
days worked per month for certain elected officials. Um, we need to report it to the New York State Retirement System. So I'm requesting a resolution to approve the attached memorandum of explanation. Rumfeld, I'll move it. Second, Ricketts files. Do we have any questions or comments? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I did notice that uh, in the memorandum there's a typographical error. I've, uh, I've gone anonymous here. I'm now Haven. <laughs> so you may want to correct that. Other than that, I'm fine with it. Thank you. I'll make that correction. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, all in favor with the corrections? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that is passed. And what do we got next here? Okay. Department of Social Services, Commissioner Edna Kays. Hi. Hello. Um, I am asking that, uh, what am I asking? I'm asking to set the salary in the Department of Social Services full-time attorney by resolution to add the salary to the Section 4 salary plan. The salary is requested to be set at 83000 per year. I, I just want to make a note that it's yes. actually not the department head that should be on the agenda, but the personnel director or myself. Department heads don't recommend salaries, personnel director does, personnel committee approves it, then it goes on to ways and means resolution, et cetera. So Got it. I, um, although Ms. Case did provide the, the MOE after consulting with the personnel director and myself, so that's that's probably why her name was on it. But that's actually whose role it is as personnel um, in this committee. So. I apologize. Yep. Nope, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got the information. And I do believe 83000 is the salary that uh, the personnel director did recommend. And I, I think I put that on the record last time we were here. We just couldn't vote on it because we didn't have a quorum. Right. Um, moved by Hanshet. Second verdict. Okay, any uh, questions or comments? Do you think you're going to attract anybody with 83000 the way the clientele is trying to get attorneys to... Come in. I think it's. I, I think they. We already have someone ready to go with the salary. So. And if um, if you can remind me, this is a part time position. Full time. Full time. Okay. It was two part time. Oh, so. Okay. That's right. Any other comments, questions? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that passed. Um, okay. Mr. Pearl. Chairman? Yes. Um, I did notice, and I'm not sure what happened, but the wrong, I, apparently I sent um, the secretary the wrong memorandum of explanation for the pension reporting. Although the figures are very similar, um, do you want me to read the correct figures or just replace it for the minutes? But the, the attached is the wrong one. How long of a read is it? Um, not very long. Okay, why don't you read them then? All right. Um, Janice Burdick's figure remains the same. Mr. Crandall is not on there. Mr. Curran's days worked per month come to 1.97. Mr. Fanton's are 6.00. Mr. Havy's name, I'm sorry, yes, Mr. Havy's name is spelled correctly on this one, and it's 6.58. And, uh, Treasurer Ross is also the same at 27.31. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. So, uh, ready for a vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And that passed. And where are we at here? So, we, any other referrals from committees? Here, what do we got here? Yes. Uh, Public Works. Department right. of Public Works Acting Superintendent Dean Scholes is requesting permission to create one full-time assistant general supervisor a annual salary. This for the Department of Public Works the annual salary is estimated between 47 and 65 and I will move it. We have a second. Oh, I have you a second. Any questions, comments? 
All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that passes. Department of Public Works, Acting Superintendent Dean. Whoop. Huh? Oh, sorry, let's go. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Chairman, procedurally, um, Mr. Fanton cannot make the motion to move because he's not on the committee. So you oh. need to re. Rum photo move it. Thank you. Okay, let's back up. Do we have a motion? Rum photo move it. Uh, second, whatever. Hanchet and rum. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. That passed. Okay, next. Department of Public Works Acting Superintendent Dean Scholes is requesting permission to create one full-time junior accountant in the Department of Public Works. The annual salary is between $36,000 and $43,000, and uh, it's funded with 100% with county funds. Hanchett moves. Round federal second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that passes. The Department of Public Works Acting Superintendent Dean Scholes is requesting permission to create one full-time junior engineer in the Department of Public Works. The annual salary is estimated between fifty-six thousand and seventy-seven. And uh, I'll move. Oh. Anchet moves. Second, Rick and Swales. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's passed. Department of Public Works Acting Superintendent Dean Scholes is requesting permission to create one full-time senior account clerk typist in the Department of Public Works. The annual salary is estimated between uh, 34000 and 42000 and all four of these have been, are included already in the budget, so. Hatchet moves. Second, Rick gets filed. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that passes. <coughs> I think that's it. So let's, uh, any old business, any new business, anything for the good of the order? Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Havey. Uh, we would like to have a caucus directly after this meeting, please. Okay, caucus immediately following. Thank you. Have a motion for adjournment. Mr. Chairman, as there appears to be no other business to come before the personnel committee today, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second, Rickett Swales. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>